Brother Yunus from Germany. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Sheikh, I am sure that when you were in Indonesia, you have seen how in their culture they greet elderly. Um, so they always put the hand um, uh, from the elder and put it on the uh, on the on the forehead and bow a little bit. Um, so I wanted to ask you um, if this is permissible. Um, I guess it's not permissible. And uh, if I have a wife from Indonesia and she's doing this to her family, am I sinful for not stopping her from doing this? Okay, Jazakallah khair for your question, uh, Brother Yunus. Yes, it is sinful and prohibited to bow as a form of respect. And I've encountered this in so many uh, Southeastern, Eastern um, countries. The moment that you shake hands with them, they fall and do this to kiss it or to put it on their forehead. forehead. And this is inappropriate. No matter who this person is, our Prophet والسلام, allowed in one or two cases for the strangers to come and kiss his hand because he's the prophet. He's the best man ever to walk the earth. Yet, he himself abhorred and hated whenever he entered the gathering that people would stand and rise for him. You could see that in his face. So the companions stopped doing this. They would never stand whenever the Prophet come in, alayhi salatu wasalam, which shows us that respecting people has to be in line with the rulings of Quran and Sunnah. And I keep telling the brothers and the brothers usually, most sisters, of course, I keep telling the brothers in Indonesia and Malaysia whom I have great love and respect for Whenever they want to shake hands with me, I tell them beforehand, raise your head. You're a Muslim and be proud of being a Muslim. Don't bow to anyone. Now, what would I lose if they all bow? I have no problem with that. But this is religion. Now, I know this doesn't go well down the throat of so many maulanas or scholars there. But tough bananas. I have to say what I believe, and that is confirmed by the statements and verdicts and fatwas of great scholars of Islam. It is not permissible to bow. What about if we go to Japan, Sheikh? It is customary for people to bow to one another. And if you don't bow, they consider this a sign of disrespect and would not like it. Well, I have two options on the table either to bow to them, please them and anger Allah, or not to bow to them, please Allah, and they would be angry with that. I'm fine with them being angry as long as Allah is not angry with me. Who cares if the whole world is angry with you when Allah is pleased? How dare you do something that angers Allah? Oh, Sheikh, this is a cultural thing. This is how the customs, and they don't mean, I know they don't mean any worship by that, of course. That's why I did not say it's shirk. I said it's sinful. But at the same time, not everything that is cultural that is permissible to do. If you go to Spain, men and women, when they meet one another, it's a business meeting, you go and kiss the cheeks. And in France, maybe they would do this thing. Is that fine with you? No, no, Sheikh. Why? It's the same thing, out of respect. So we have to draw the line every now and then and be proud of our religion.